What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Clay and Chick Outdoors. I'm Clay Chick, and this is the Outdoors. I'm gonna see how lame I can get. One of these videos, I'm gonna get so lame, it's not gonna be funny. I got a cool mission today: pike on the fly rod. That's my goal, or for my evening anyway. It's 4:30, so I got about four hours, something like that, four and a half hours, to try to target pike on the fly rod. That's all I'm gonna do. I brought other gear with me just in case it's not working to try to salvage the last hour or two with top water, something fun. But right now, pike on the fly. Let's go chase some pike in some shallows, in the weeds, wherever we can find them. It's got some sun still right now, so sight fishing, probably not a possibility, but you never know, you never know. And as you can see from this, what I get in land water and I think I'm okay, really not after small pike. A small pike will still hit it, but Sometimes bigger fly, bigger fish. Let's just get one thing clear before we start. I'm not an expert, I'm not an expert fly fisherman. It's just a little tool that I use sometimes, especially up north, to get some of, some of the more lethargic pike. I think you're hurting yourself in terms of being an all around fisherman by only being a fly fisherman and not willing to change it up. And I also think you're hurting yourself by not learning the art of the fly rod and how deadly it can be at times. Those are my Clayton Schick two cents. Oh, I got a weird wind. I hope I don't put a hook in the back of my head today. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? That, was, that scared me so much. <laughs> that freaked me out. Unreal. Oh, that was insane. I gotta get out of these weeds. Oh, that was insane. Come on. That's a good fish too. Gotta get him out of these weeds. Come on, baby. It's down in the weeds. Come on. Come on. That was insane, absolutely insane. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? That did not take long at all. <sighs> that fish freaked me out, like freaked me out. That was insane. <laughs> okay, so my evening's off to a good start. Unbelievable. 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 Okay, buddy, come here. <laughs> okay, that fish <laughs> destroyed that fly. Like, destroyed it. <laughs> so cool. Barbless just comes out it's ever so easy again. Beautiful fish, beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> she freaked out on me, so I just let her go. That fish, like I mean I jumped. There's no doubt about it, I jumped out of my seat. Man, I think I just made a short cast on that one too. It's the cool thing about the fly, especially the bigger ones, you can just let that fly hover there. Remember, Pike won't judge your cast. Yes, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, I watched him come up and eat it. Got a strip set on him too. Did not lift too early. Things were good on him. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, I watched him come up and plow it. I feel like I got a good hook set on him too. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, get low. Get under that trolling motor, a boy. Get low. Get low. That's a pretty good one. That's a good one. Nice. I'm using a 12 weight fly rod. Why? Why 12 weight? I'll go through that. Oh baby, oh baby. I, 
I wish that that would show up on the GoPro, the Strike, but I somehow doubt it. Oh, I want to keep them out of those weeds. There we go. That's one of the reasons why I'm using a 12 weight right there. Don't high stick them. Come back, come back. That's where a lot of people break fly rods underneath the boat. Come back, come back, come back. I'm gonna have to let you go, yeah, okay. Over all the other stuff, are you coming back this way, buddy? <laughs> come back. You are putting me through the ringer. That's a big fat one. That is a big fat one. Come here. It's a 40 inch pike. That's a 40 inch pike. Come here. Ah. You have to let go, maybe. Maybe. No, I can still control him. Come here. Come here. Any bigger, I'd probably put you in the net. Ah, nope, gotta let go. Well, I broke that fish off on the bottom of the boat. That was dumb of me to... I tried to horse him at the end and that was dumb. Like, even I make, even I make silly, silly mistakes at times. That was silly. That was so silly of me. Like, I'm so used to, when I guide, somebody else controlling the rod, you can hand land them. I, the, I was able to horse the fish around because of the 12 weight. And then when I got him down and I was going to land him, he still had a lot of strength left. And I was just going to let go of the leader material because I felt him give a good pull and I felt it go right on the bottom of the boat and it sliced it like instantly. It was just a horrible, horrible move. If I catch another fish that's that big, it's going in the net like for sure. I just got it. I gotta stop messing around with that. That's silly mistake, Clayton. Silly mistake. Silly, silly, silly. Why a 12 weight? Two reasons. To horse the fish around a little bit and have really good control of it because there's a bunch of weeds around. I wanna to try to keep it out of the weeds and keep it contained, not fight it too long. And just a little bit bigger flies. The bigger flies are easier to throw with the, the bigger rods. You can easily get away with a nine or a 10 weight rod for pike. You know, smaller flies, little whistlers, bunny leeches, stuff like that. But I'm throwing a pretty big streamer here. And yeah, such a cool eat. Like I have had an awesome, an awesome evening so far. I had one fish on and I didn't get a good hook set on it because I was trying to watch what the boat was doing behind me. I thought for some reason it was going to cut in front of me and I was worried about, worried about everything that was going on there and I didn't want to drive over when I was fishing. Instead of just dealing with it, lost that one, had another big fish come up to the, to the fly, just not eat. And this one was like a 41, 42 inch fish, big fat one too. <laughs> Silly Clayton. I hate breaking fish off. I don't mind if they spit the hook, it happens. I hate leaving a fly in a fish's mouth. Thankfully, it's barbless, it'll fall out easily. But I just, I hate that, like, it's not good. Not good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get out of those weeds, buddy. Come on. I'm gonna hopefully drift the other side of those weeds. Yes, good. Good, 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 good. This looks like a pretty good fish. Ah, it's not as big as I thought. Shadow looked really big to start with. It's still nice though. Still nice. Not like the one I lost though. Not like the one I lost. Come on. Come on. Nah, it's not as big as I thought. Come here, I'll see if I can unhook you quick. Barbless hook. Come on. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. It's bigger than I thought. Bigger than I thought. It's still not like as big as the other ones though. Oh, but that's bigger than I thought though. Definitely. 
definitely nice fish. Not uh, not as big as the, the couple that I lost, but that's a nice fish right there. Probably 38-ish. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Oh, or an evening, I should say. What an evening. Okay. Back you go. Back you go. So I've always been the type of person that says, give credit where credit is due. Some things in life you learn on your own. You figure it out on your own. You maybe invent something new or whatever it is. But for the most part, we usually learn stuff from other people. We pass it on. So in this situation, the streamer that I'm using, this style, was uh, originally came up by uh, or made up by a gentleman. I just call him Chip. That's his nickname is Chip. I'll, I'll mention his name in the future if he ever wants me to. But Chip was a he's been pike uh, pike guiding for like 30 some years already I believe it is like it's insane and I always like he was a deadly with this fly I always put big big fish in the boat all the time for all his guests and stuff like that and I said to him Chip can I buy one of your flies and he said no but I'll teach you how to tie him so I went out and I bought a vise all the material and he sat down with me and he taught me how to tie it I've changed it up as it's gone and he's changed up his version as it's gone a little bit. But this fly right here, the original version called the Monster Magic. And kind of funny, this goes back to, and the guys from In Fisherman, they're, they're great people. Um, the guys that work for it, I'm, I'm good friends with, with a lot of them there. But they did this article at one point and they like renamed the fly something else. Now the person that they did name it after it wasn't his fault at all. It was the person that edited it or the person that redid it. The, the original credit should have went to Chip Monster Magic. And it was just kind of funny because that was where, that's what I'm getting into is like, they didn't give the credit where the credit was due. And I know they changed it in a future magazine. They says there's a correction to this article and such and such date and this and this should have been. Uh, and they did, they were really good about it. But that's not what I'm trying to trying to do is trying to, talk about them at all I'm just basically trying to say is give credit where credit is due so honestly chip is one of the reasons why I did start to use flies for pike I saw how deadly it is with it so I wanted to learn the art in it so this is my special thanks to you chip I don't know if you ever watch if you ever watch my videos or not but thank you thank you for everything that you've showed me in your time that we got a guide together Hopefully we cross paths again and who knows, maybe we got together one day again somewhere, whether it's for Pike or maybe Tarpon in the Keys, who knows. But I just want to say thank you very much for all the knowledge that you pass on to me because it has been an unbelievable weapon. So yes, thank you. Yeah, it's a good thing Pike don't judge your cast. <laughs> little guy I kind of want him to get off to be honest come on <laughs> they just they always scare me I slipped on my line but that's okay I kind of want him to get off to be honest it's just a little guy come on buddy <laughs> that was funny oh it never gets old Never gets old. Ah, get all those weeds. Okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. Unfortunately, I can't stick my hand in a pike's mouth like I can a walleye's mouth. Okay, quick show off to the hand camera and back in. See ya, buddy. See ya. <laughs> Little snake. Little snake. Well, it's been... 
It's been tougher for me ever since the water went calm. Losing my wind hurt me because I was able to kind of just drift along ever so quietly, ever so nicely. Don't get me wrong, it's been a beautiful evening. Beautiful evening. I actually wish it wouldn't end here soon. I wish it wouldn't end. This guy's been caught before. This guy has been caught before. So we're gonna use our pliers on him. So we don't. That's why you need good tools, guys. Look at this is from getting caught before. His mouth ripped off. No good. Obviously, he's still fine. He's eating, but don't need that. The pike don't need that. Oh, oh, yes. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, not as big as I thought. They always seem bigger when they hit on a fly. But I'll take it right now. I'll take it right now. Come here. Come here. I'm not letting him run at all. I'm just kind of letting him. As soon as he gets tight, I'm making him turn around. Letting him burn his energy quick here. So I can get rid of him and get on to more fish. Come here, buddy. Nice fish. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I'll be quick with you. I'll be quick with you. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Beautiful fish right there. <laughs> Probably the worst lighting ever because of the beautiful sunset I got going on here behind me. <laughs> awesome. Pike on the fly, baby. It is so much fun. Where are you gonna go right here? <laughs> fat one. Fat fish. Fat fish. Fat one. Oh. Man, look at that sunset. Is that not like beautiful? If you guys want to see more pike on the fly, let me know. This is a pile of fun. Maybe I can do like a, a tie and catch type of thing. Tie my own fly, take it out. This fly actually I did tie, but I'll tie it on the video. Last cast, it's just getting too tough for me to see with glasses on and while well, there's a a flying object. I'm not going to fish without glasses. What an evening. I definitely want to do more of the whole fly fishing thing. Maybe you guys should get on Jay for a clay versus Jay biggest pike challenge on the fly rod, like top four biggest fish in eight hours. Come on, Jay. Let's do it. Okay, I said last cast. I guess I'm doing one more because I want to wrap up this video. So I appreciate everybody watching this short little video. I think it's going to be short. I don't even know. I can't remember what I talked about. I just came out and fly fish for a few hours in the evening. I'm going to do more of this. So thank you very much. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to get outside.